The greatest memory I have this year is Lorna Club. I think it really set a new standard for us and also set a new vision for us to strengthen our clubs into the future. And I think we look back on Lorna Club being as a special day for us this year. They say his pitch is worth more than a thousand words and Ray's book is worth that. In, in essence, 13 years, which was in wonderful photographs, great trip to him and his team. But their wonderful excellence and their commitment has been truly remarkable. I've just discovered a shot here that shows the tension and the concentration of a Waterford, five people in a Waterford goal blocking a, blocking a penalty or a, a close in free in, in the National League game. And it, it just shows what it means to make a wonderful save. But the concentration level is demanded. It's just one I picked out that's truly remarkable. I'm glad it's out. It's a labour of love here, to be honest with you. This is the 13th edition. And thankfully this year we have Carol Cuisine as the sponsor again. And we can sell it at a reasonable price, 29.95. So where would you get better value? As a Dubliner, the, the sign in Crow Park said Slán O'Wally and there's a supporter and his dad sitting on the terraces on the Hill 16 and just written up overhead the Slán O'Wally. In my opinion, moving enough sort of a photograph. What you have to remember is that it's only, we're looking at the smallest little image, small little, little viewfinder. Um, it all happens live, we get no second chance. There's no playback, no video ref, no anything. It's, did you get it or did you not? So there's a fair amount of pressure involved, to be honest with you. My own favourite in, in Ray's book is uh, page 29, a fantastic picture of the celebration night. You know, the GA took a lot of stick for putting that night out there in terms of spending a lot of money. But for anybody who's there on the night, uh, and when you see it re reproduced in picture here, it's absolutely fantastic. And the, the, the picture that I love is the old, you know, let's call it the dubs colours uh, on the pitch. It's a fantastic picture, and I think, you know, it says everything about what the GA is about. We were all very proud that night to be part of the GA, and I think we had a great year celebrating the 125 celebrations. <laughs> you know the way when you're going off to play a match? And look after yourselves and don't get injured and don't get in a fight but most of all keep yourself clean you never know what will happen and then up comes a smart picture a Mayo man having his nose cleaned now I don't know which is the cleaner at this stage the finger or the nose I really like that photograph of Morris Deegan um, getting a right wetting up there in, in Oma you know and uh, I feel very sorry for him not he looks pretty uncomfortable there himself and Seamus McGonigal and Barry Toland now you know, they thought they might have problems during the 70 minutes. They had problems before they even started there, you know. Nice to see your officials uh, recognised in the book. Great, great year for Kilkenny uh, winning the league and the championship. Any time you do that, uh, they would have been our goals starting off at the beginning of the year to try and win the league, which we done thoroughly after a great battle with Tip. And I suppose um, the All-Ireland of All-Irelands against Tipperary uh, going for four in a row and uh, winning it was... Uh, a fantastic achievement. Great honour to be on the front of such a prestigious book, you know. Um, I don't go out to be uh, on the front of these books, but you're, uh, when you're asked to, to attend it, I'm sure I said I'd go up, there's no problem. Um, after winning the All-Ireland, you get a holiday, so we're going to Malaysia at the end of uh, December, so a few, a few weeks out there and uh, relax and recharge the batteries, I suppose, that's the plan. And then back um, for the new year, trailing for the Welsh Cup, and uh, we'll take it from there.